So what is some game changers that you've seen come across these last few years? Well, let's think about it in terms of technology. What is some advanced technology that is changing our environments, our workplaces? Well, artificial intelligence is a big one. Additive manufacturing. This is also known as 3D printing or autonomous vehicles. I mean, Tesla has a vehicle that essentially drives itself. Well, pretty soon it's going to be like the movies where you could fall asleep as the news has shown us on some Tesla drivers and the car drives itself to the destination. Or you can be in the back seat and not have to worry about driving the vehicle. This is going to disrupt the automotive insurance industry tremendously. Because if everything's done autonomously and there's no more car accidents, why get car insurance? So they're going to have to rewrite laws that require you to have car insurance because why would you need car insurance for a car that never crashes? Or if everybody has a car like that, that is autonomous, well, there'd be no need for that at all. You just crawl into the back. You might be able to get another five minutes of sleep while you're going to school or work. So another big thing is internet of things. Everything is becoming connected to the internet. Like for some reason, I have no idea why, but my dishwasher can connect to my network. I have not set it up because I don't see the point of it. What's it going to tell me? The dishes are done. I can just walk by and look at it and see that my dishes are done. The refrigerator I have can connect to the, to the internet. I don't want my refrigerator talking to the internet. I don't need to start Skynet. My refrigerator might be the beginnings of Skynet from the Terminator movies. I don't want that. But some people like it because they might be able to check to see if they have enough milk or they're running low on something because some, some refrigerators have cameras on the inside that will actually show you what's in there. For some people, that's great. Other people eh, could care less, like myself. Robots. Well, we already have robots assembling things. Now you combine that with artificial intelligence. Now we're getting somewhere. I mean, we might not need people to do manual labor in the in the distant future because it's all done by robots. Virtual reality. So right now, virtual reality is really expanding when it comes to customer service. Walmart is using virtual reality for customer service training. It, it, who would have thought to put on a pair of uh, goggles, virtual reality goggles and do training. It's, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. So that, but we also have big data and predictive analytics. So this might be, a concept that is difficult for some people. But if you think about it, we are creating so much data. Like, for example, take photographs, for example. Each year, we're taking more photographs than all the previous years combined. So this year, 2020 is when I'm recording this, will be there will be more photos taken this year through smartphones and everything else than 2019 through the invention of the camera. And in 2021, the same thing. There'll be more pictures taken in 2021 than all the years before it. Well, big data can do something with those pictures. They can analyze those. They might be able to predict people's patterns that way. I mean, there's already companies that take Facebook data and try to develop a profile for people. I mean, there was a huge scandal about that a couple of years ago uh, about a company that used Facebook to gather data. I think it was a political campaign that did that. But anyway, you know, knowing a person's shopping habits or that, you know, they're, they're partial to a certain type of coffee. Well, you can... Give that person specific advertisements based on that. So, but big data for the supply chain, we can predict customers' demand for products. 
and we can make sure that the demand or that product is available for that customer when the customer needs it before they realize they need it. So that, that's just some technology game changers out there. What about resources? So we have human resources and natural resources. So human resources, talent management. So human resources is getting more into developing people. Before, they were just hiring and firing. But now they're actually developing the workforce. And the workforce is becoming more and more flexible. So it might be just how people are now. But it used to be 9 to 5. You, know, you go in at 9, you leave at 5. Somewhere in the middle there was lunch. But it's starting to change where it's being more flexible. It might be you're allowed to work four days at 10 hours a day and you take one day off during the week. So you're working a compressed schedule. Or maybe you want to go to work at seven in the morning and work till three. You know, the, work, the, the workforce is getting more flexible. Natural resources. So supply chain. So when we're more efficient at getting our materials we're actually having a positive impact on the environment. So the use of water, air, and renewable energy is essentially being reduced. Renewable energy is actually increasing. You know, there, there's more and more solar farms out there. There's wind farms, uh, hydroelectric dams. There's all these things for renewable energy. And manufacturing in some things of net of manufacturing requires a lot of water and can produce a lot of pollution through the air but just by making some choices differently we can reduce the usage of water and put out less pollution so we do have a lot of game changers in supply chain that are going to be coming in the future now what they are anybody can guess i don't know but i'm excited to find out and i hope you are too so we're going to talk about scenario planning because we always have to do these what ifs. You know, what if this happens? We have to figure out what we're going to do in specific scenarios. So let's go ahead and talk about that in our next video.